Why are you required as a soul to fulfill your karma? Can you, when you're in front of the karmic board, can you simply request that you go directly to the um, pure soul? <laughs> Is it possible? <laughs> Um, yes. Thank you. Well, Thank you. Hang on for a moment here. <laughs> <laughs> One of the ways to consider your karma is, is what do you need to experience and learn? So you can translate it into that. So once you have the experience and the learning that's necessary, if what you have created put it into a repetitive pattern so that what you've actually created for yourself is a law of reversibility, which will bring the experience, bring the experience, because you put it in motion, and what you have sown, you're responsible to reap. So that, that's the law. The grace is, can I move into the completion with the learning so that the repetitive nature of what I have created can be released. That's a request, that's appeal. But you don't come into that in some way mocking, disrespecting, uh, deceiving. You come by that honestly, that you're prepared, that you can stand in the learning by demonstrating the learning, that you don't repeat the patterns that would create new learnings or new experiences that bring forward the learning again. So you demonstrate, I have learned. I don't repeat this area. I've come to an completion in it. Thank you. Okay. Sometimes when you ask inside, have I completed the area, you don't get an answer. The answer is no. you hear that? Yes, I do. Speak in the microphone. Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. 